हेलो एवरीवन थर्टी एस वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन क्लासेज ऑफ सरस्वती इंग्लिश अकेडमी महाराज हूँ टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक क्लास सिक्स सब्जेक्ट मैथ्स एंड आर चैप्टर नंबर इज फोर्थ एंड एक्साइज इज फोर पॉइंट वन एंड दिस इज आर वीडियो वन ओके एक्चुअली आर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज यूज द फिगर टू नेम है ना इसका मतलब है कि ये जो फिगर का कुछ चित्र इस चित्र का यूज करें है ना नेम देने के लिए इन सबको नेम देने के लिए ठीक तो फर्स्ट है आपके क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट एन आर पार्ट ए इज फाइव पॉइंट्स तो जैसे कि मैंने पिछले वीडियोस में आपको बता रखा है एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू इन आर प्रीवियस वीडियोस दैट अ पॉइंट इज अ सिंबल मींस हियर वी आर सीइंग वी आर गिवन बी सी डी ई एन ओ फाइव लेटर्स आर गिवन ऑफ इंग्लिश अल्फाबेट ओके सो दीज फाइव लेटर्स Are denoting uh, five points. Okay, so I am just simply uh, mentioning over here in our part A the five points given in this particular figure. Okay, so our solution is or our answer is five points are point. Our first point is point B. Second one is point C. Third one is point D. Fourth one is point E. And our fifth one is point O. Point O. Point is uh, the basic concept of geometry. Point जो है वो जो geometry हम पढ़ते हैं उसका सबसे basic concept है. Uh, and a point does not have any length, width, and height. पॉइंट में लंबाई चौड़ाई ऊंचाई नहीं होती है और ये इन्फाइनाइट सिमल होता है इन्फाइनाइट सिमल में अति सूक्ष्म होता है ठीक है इससे पॉइंट से फिर ज़्यादा छोटी कोई भी आकृति पॉसिबल नहीं है चलिए ठीक चलिए आपका फर्स्ट पार्ट होता है ना हम दो और आ पार्ट नंबर सेकेंड विच इज आ लाइन एक्चुअली लेंथ ऑफ आ लाइन इज नॉट डिफाइंड बिकॉज आ लाइन a uh, length of a line is infinite as we see as we uh, see uh, our train a train a train is there and uh, the rail of the train means train ki jo patri rehti hai usko hum kahenge to wo ek line ka example hai agar wo better way mein aapko straight bhi hui hai to okay so uh, i am just simply Uh, obtaining over here that uh, length of a line is infinite. Okay, and if a line, listen, if this type of symbols are there, means uh, a ray is there or a line segment is there. Line segment means line type part. A line segment is there and having arrows on both sides. अगर कोई line segment दिया है और उसके दोनों side में arrows हैं, तो उसको अपन फिर लाइन बोलेंगे दिस एरो इज ओनली डिनोटिंग दैट द लाइन इज कंटिन्यूसली इंक्रीजिंग ओके ये जो एरो है ये हमें दिखा रहा है कि इस साइड में लाइन की लेंथ जो है वो कंटिन्यूसली इंक्रीज करती जा रही है कहां तक जाएगी ये नहीं मालूम द सेम इज ऑन दिस एंड ओके इस एंड में भी हमें ये है कि भाई यहां भी आपकी जो लेंथ है वो इधर कंटिन्यूसली इंक्रीज कर रही है कहां तक जाएगी ये हमें नहीं मालूम इसलिए ये एक Line. Okay, and in this figure, I am just uh, seeing that only this ray is having arrows on both ends. Okay, uh, in this figure, uh, we are seeing that there is three segments. First one is this one, which is uh, just horizontal. Second one is this one, which is vertical, and third one is this one. But both side arrows, uh, only one line segment is containing both side arrows, which is this one. Okay, so uh, we will name this line as B and D. We can name D B also, uh, but B comes first. That is why I am just uh, I am just naming it as B D. Okay, B is uh, this end. B इधर का end है और D इधर का end है. इसलिए इसका name क्या हो गया B D. चलिए एक line के बारे में हमारे से पूछा है. तो line क्या होगी इसमें line B. 
I hope it is very clear to you. I am just moving towards our part C, which is four rays. Actually, ray is a uh, ray is a line, or ray is a part of line which only have arrow on one end. है ना? Ray ऐसी line है जिसके एक ही end पे ये arrow रहता है. अगर दोनों ends पे arrow है, तो वो line है. एक end पे arrow है, तो वो row वो क्या है? Ray है. और अगर दोनों ends पे arrow ना हो, like this. Then this is only line segment, not a line, not a ray. Okay? So here I am seeing that that our this one is first ray is OC, second ray is OB, and second and third ray is uh, I am just writing some G over here. Uh, third ray is OG, and our fourth ray is OB. Okay? So four rays are there. First one is OC. Uh, second one is OB, first one is OC, second one is OB, third one is OG, and fourth one is OG. Okay? Four ways are there. First one is OB, second one uh, OC, second one is OB, third one is OG, and uh, the fourth one is OG. Okay? Next part is B, five line segments. Okay? I am just, I have just taught you what is line segment. Line segment. Line segment is the part of line which does not have any arrow on any end. Okay. So here, here it is clearly visible that OC is the line segment, OG is the line segment, OB is the line segment, OE is the line segment, and DE is the line segment. Okay. Because here we are seeing that D uh, on any end, D is not containing any arrow, E is also not containing any arrow. So this is a segment of a line, okay? Part of a line. So four lines, five line segment. First one is OC, okay? First one is line segment OC. But second one is OB. Second one is OB. Third one is OG. Third one is OG. Fourth one is OE, okay? And the last one is DE. We can name it DE and OD also. Uh, we can take several more examples. DE and OD also. Okay, DE is also a line segment. No problem is there. We can name them uh, and uh, we can have one or two more examples to take uh, to name them. Okay. So this is this was our four parts of these were our four parts of question number first. Now we will just move towards our Question number second, just write down, okay, or take a screenshot. So, our uh, question number second is what? Our question number second is, question number second is, name the line given in all possible ways. Name the line given in all possible ways. Name the line in all, name the line in all possible ways. Name the line in all possible ways. Okay, our question is what? Question second is name the line in all possible 12 ways. Okay, in all possible and 12 is also given. So I have written it over here. And after that, choosing only two letters at a time from the four given. Choosing only choosing only four letters. Choosing only four letters. Choosing only only two letters, four can't be taken. Two letters to define this define. Choosing only two letters, name the line given in all possible ways. Choosing only two letters at a time. Choosing only two letters at a time. Only two letters at a time. Choosing only two letters at a time from the four given. From the four given. From the 
four given. Choosing only, choosing only two letters at a time from the four given. It was our second. This was our second. This is our second option. Okay. And our points are A, B, C, D. First one is A. Second one is B. Third one is C. And the last one is this is D. Okay. Now what we have to do is listen. Our question was our question was name the line in all possible ways. Twelve choosing only two letters at a time from the four given. Okay, from the four given. A B C D is there. Now what we what we have to do is we will just name the line in all possible ways. Twelve. Choosing only two letters at a time. Okay, this line can be named as first A D. Okay, second first one is A B, second one is A C, second third one is A D. After that, we can also take the names as B A. Okay, and C B C D. So just write down. Okay, so our uh, first line will be what? First line is A B. After that, A C and A D. We will take A as our first, first letter of the line. So, name of lines. So name of lines are equal to first one is A B. Second one is A C, third one is A D, A B A C and A D. Okay, A B A C and A D. After that we will start with B, B A, B C and B D. Okay, B A B C and B D. After that we will start with C, C A, C A C D and C D. Okay. Okay. And our D part is what? 2K. 
pairs of intersecting lines. Two pairs of two pairs of intersecting two pairs of intersecting lines. Two pairs of intersecting lines. This is our parallelogram. This is a line. This is another line. This is point C. This is point A. This point is B. This point is B. This point is C. And this is point F. This is point F. Okay. And this point is O. This point is what? This is point O. Now, what we are asked to is use the figure to name. Uh, so, first one is line containing point E. Line containing point E. There is a line which contains point E. Okay, so listen. Actually, there are two lines which are containing point E. First one is EF itself, and second one is E. Okay, so and we have to write uh, the line containing point E. Actually, there are lines containing point E. Okay, so just write down. Okay. So line containing line containing point E actually uh, point E yeah? uh, here we are seeing the two lines are just clearly visible first one is E F itself and second one is A itself okay and so many answers can be given okay A B is a line that contains E A D is also a line that contains what E I am just uh, taking one of them. And which is A. Okay. So many answers can be given. One is line A E. One is line. One of them is line A E. Okay. Second one is what line passing through A. Line passing through A. So many answers can be given for this one also. And one, the first or one of them is A itself. Okay. So line passing through A is line A E. A is line A E. Okay. Uh, next one is line on which O lies. Okay. Line on which O lies. O, uh, many answers are possible over here also. Yeah? One of them is actually the line on which O lies. O C or B O or B C can be our answer. I am just taking O C or C. O C or C O. Okay. Itself. Itself means the point is coming. Uh, the point is coming uh, whenever I am just taking the name of the line. Okay. That is why I am using it. Two pairs of intersecting lines. Two pairs. First one is O C, second one is A. First one is E F, second one is uh, A. Okay. Uh, two pairs. First pair is First pair is what? First pair is AD and AD and OC. Okay. And second pair is second pair is what? Second pair is AE and EF. AE and EF. First pair, uh, first pair is this one, and our second pair is that one. Okay. Next one is name the line from first one is. Uh, okay, I have just already done this one. And third question and answer. All the answers of third question are given A B C D. Subsequently. Okay. So our next question is what? Our next question.